Hey, this is Seth with InDemandCareer.com. I show people how to get jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education. And in this video, I'm going to do a uh, digital marketing career walkthrough of the United States. Uh, here in July 2020, there are now 33,170 uh job postings, which is up. You remember uh, a month or two ago, that was at 26,000. So there's 5,000 more jobs daily on uh, LinkedIn, about 1,600 a day being posted. And I'm going to walk you through some of these examples, guys. Yes, companies are still hiring. Yes, this is still an incredible skill set to have even during the pandemic. One thing I have noticed that I will show you as we go through this is I think um, you are have you are going to have an even better shot at getting a job now because because things are still bad people are applying for these positions who are not qualified which gives you a chance to stand out so let's take a look here so like let's take a look at this place columbia south carolina digital marketing specialist at splash omnimedia five days ago now 137 applicants that's pretty unusual if you look at old walkthroughs of mine you look at a smaller city like columbia you would not see that many applicants so I know your first reaction must be, oh my God, so much competition, I shouldn't try. No, this actually means you have a better shot. It means this poor agency, whoever's hiring is getting, a probably has 137 crappy resumes. And as we go through this list, you'll see positions with high number of applicants that have been open for a long time, indicating that they haven't been filled. But let's take a look at what you need here monitor analyze implement campaigns identify new opportunities all the stuff that you've seen my students talk about in the interviews what we learned in the course and from generating their own experience uh one year paid experience and again remember guys when you see one year experience or if it says three years experience these numbers are very arbitrary but when you see one year that is code for we really need somebody that just knows anything because one year is like in the in the world of work it's very little it's very, very little. Um, so uh, this I can I can I can pretty much guarantee you guys, you know, four years of helping people get jobs. This 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 company is not they're not like trying to figure out which of the 137 is the best. They're like trying to figure out if any of these 137 people even know what Google ads are. Um, and I think it's because, unfortunately, the situation in the US and the world is so bad, people need jobs, people are just applying uh, in more places. This is a much better example of what what I think is um, the reality in these jobs. So I showed you this position like last my last walkthrough in June, digital marketing specialist Lancaster. Now this is Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This is a small city. Let's take a look. I think I told you guys because I had a girlfriend who lived there like 20 years ago. So look at how small. Now let's look at, uh, what was the other one? Columbia, South Carolina population. It's not going to be that much bigger, but yeah, 133. So Columbia, South Carolina has like three times as many people almost, or at least twice as many people, right? So the point is Lancaster has a really small population and there's, literally hasn't been 25 applicants because I can guarantee you there's like nobody in this town that has any clue what perform keyword research or ad copy or any of these things are. And once again, intermediate to advanced Google capabilities, capabilities or equivalent experience, meaning we really just need somebody we can train to do this job. Um, and then moderate mathematical and statistical skills. They don't really care about education. Remember, guys, the education is just employers really lazy way of saying, oh, did this person have the did they have the determination to actually stick with college for four years? And you can show that you have, you know, value by demonstrating your skills. You don't need the degree. Uh, who do we have? Who do we have here? Just to kind of illustrate this point, my one of my latest success stories, just if you're just joining us, I love this one, Athena. 23 years old, no college degree, making six figures after three years in experience. She didn't start out at six figures. She started out at an agency job. They hired her because she had the skills, no college degree, and now she's doing fantastic. And it all starts with jobs like this. So I would say, you know, even if you don't live in Lancaster, consider moving <laughs> because these guys are, I bet you they're desperate. 
Um, here's one off Reddit, Georgia. Once again, they talk about potential pay time off. It's analyze digital data, conduct social media audits, all the type of stuff. By the way, I think when people do these job postings, they might be a little drunk. Cause look, industry photography. Um, actually, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I misspoke because it's a photography school. So you'd be doing marketing for them. Once again, two weeks ago, 150 applicants. I again, they're not they're not finding a lot of people in Alpharetta, Georgia, who are actually compelling candidates. Um, this one is a new one. Digital marketing specialist contributes daily, digi uh, creatively to digital client campaigns, uh, email marketing, Facebook ads manager, and um, you know have experience with Google ads, have experience optimizing landing pages, all stuff we get into. The course of so those are all bonus things but again entry level position i am sure there is not going to be too much competition for that kazarin interactive maple grove minnesota this is also where i really think i mean we're in maple grove minnesota which i am going to guess is a very small yeah seventy one thousand. so this to me again says people are <clears throat> Maybe they responded to uh, this type of language. Are you self starter? People like they they didn't really. Um, OK, so it's like this is more of a content marketing position, not paid search or SEO. But I bet you a lot of people are applying to this because they see things like self starting uh, self starting problem solver and they don't know anything about social media SEO um inbound marketing seo websites audits or google ads <laughs> which is like kind of a either they are going to be training people from the ground up or they didn't really present it properly because it's like people i guarantee you people are seeing this part and they're kind of missing the fact that they want you to actually know something about seo and ppc but once again um and i guarantee you there's not people with three years experience in maple grove minnesota applying for this do what I say in the course, follow the strategy, stand out from the competition, present a compelling case, and you will be, you know, their favorite person. By the way, I'm going to just cut over to one of the emails I got a day ago from Carmicia. Carmicia, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but she, look at this. Hey, Seth, I got a job. I had a follow up interview today. My task for the last couple of days to do an audit. She loved my feedback and she said, I taught her a lot. Can you believe that? One of my students who's been in the course for a couple months taught their new employer, <laughs> an agency, something. And they said, I'm more knowledgeable, my student, than the instructor from a two day course she recently took. Now remember, this is my student. This isn't even me. <laughs> and she's only been in my course for literally, I don't know, maybe a month or two. And she got a job offer. So I'm just showing this to you to say, like every time I walk through these and I'm like, you guys can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You really can do it. <laughs> just trust me. Um, usually don't just trust me. Listen to the logic behind what I'm saying. Um, digital marketing specialist, Troy, Michigan. Let me see how far we are in here, guys. Eight minutes. Okay. Manage all aspects of pay-per-click. Amazon. Now, this is a little bit unique because Amazon is distinct from Google. Um, but what does it say? hands-on training provided now they have over 200 applicants probably because they also because it's in a city where people need jobs but also says hands-on training provided but i guarantee you if you come in with your google ads everything i show you how to stand out from the competition you would be stand out from all these 200 applicants um I can guarantee you that these guys are not thrilled about the 200 applicants. They are like trying to figure out who can we train? Who can we train that has any, any indication that they understand how paid advertising works? Not, oh, I'm great with people. Oh, I got a 4.0 on my GPA. But I understand how paid search campaigns are organized. I understand the basics of how digital marketing funnels work. And if you teach me Amazon, I can apply what I already know. That's the kind of person that is going to compel this company to want to take you to the interview. 
Uh, digital marketing specialist, five days ago, build optimized and scaled digital marketing campaign experience in managing paid search. Remember, I show you how to generate your own experience. I like how it doesn't give you any time frame. It's, they're just like, look, we need somebody that knows something <laughs> to come along for this job. This is in Vancouver. We've got greater Atlanta area, 200 applicants, build, manage, and maintain, optimize client campaigns. By the way, I had this student, or not a student, uh, <laughs> I have to, I'm going to kind of vent for a second. I love that my program is really built for you if you are new to this, because you're so teachable. And that's why I love my students. I had somebody come to me who I think they had a little bit of an idea, a uh, little bit of experience, but not, they still didn't understand how to do Google ads. And I actually, he asked me, well, what do you guys teach in the course? And I'm like, well, I teach you how to build, manage, and optimize a Google ads campaign. And he said, what does optimize mean? That could mean anything. Tell me what you really mean. And I said, what? Optimize, like it's right here on these job postings. It's making sure that an account is running the right way, that clients are making money, and you learn how to do that in my course. And you don't learn how to do that at Full Sail or in any of these master's programs. And then remember, two years experience, I guarantee you none of these 200 people even has a month's worth of experience, experience. And I love when they do this too, where it says two years experience in PPC. And then it says experience. Well, which is it? <laughs> if you have two years experience in PPC and SEM, you've obviously have two years experience managing Google ads. This is another indication to me that again, they, if you feel you're qualified and samples, I love that. That means the stuff I teach in the course, how to put together, the, the spreadsheet, the, the projects that indicate you know what you're talking about. This is a great opportunity, guys, if you're in Atlanta. If you're any of my students, you're in Atlanta, apply for this. Like I said, also, you're in Creative Circle. It is an agency. When they see you're qualified, and they I guarantee you they have other digital marketing positions, even if you don't get this position, they will be want to help you get another position because they get paid when you get hired. So Rochester, New York, that's my hometown. 41 applicants, do you understand the different media types, understanding media tactics, knowledge and experience, of course. This is kind of a weird way that they put it, but basically mm, digital media planning by experience with Google Ads. There it is right down there. Now I can pretty much guarantee you guys, there are not too many people in Rochester, New York that have three years of experience. And I know this because it's my hometown. <laughs> it is not. And then with, here's what's really cool is they, um, Talk about they have open they have open senior positions too, which means that like I said, there this is you know you get a job at um, a place like this in a small city like Rochester, and you can move up. I think it's funny though because this forty one applicants compared to Columbia, South Carolina, where the population is like one tenth of Rochester. That's very interesting to me. But again, these are all over the country, all over the country. Orem, Utah, three weeks ago, 188 applicants, strong understanding of SEM, strong understanding of digital marketing. There it is, guys. Experience, strong understanding. All keywords indicating they need someone who has basic understanding of SEO. And then it says one to two years of experience in digital marketing, but they just said here, you just need to have a basic understanding. It's a strong understanding, basic understanding. I love it says minimum qualifications. Guys, I guarantee you, you come out of my course, you will have their minimum qualifications and they will be so happy, so happy to see what you're submitting after looking at 188 applications where they're like, oh my God. And I know this because I have been in that position. I have been at an agency. We have put up job postings where we are very specific, at least about what you need to have a strong understanding of SEM, SEO, paid search. And we've got people who are just so clueless. They do not know anything. So this is a good one too. Orem, Utah, you know, not New York, not LA, Orem, Utah. St. Petersburg, Florida, three weeks ago, strategy, execution, optimization, testing, uh, three years of blah, 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 experience in search engine marketing. Ability to lift 15 pounds. Make sure you can do that, guys. <laughs> I don't teach you that in my course. <laughs> it's the same thing. Three weeks ago, they've had 200 applicants. You can stand out. Uh, and I'm getting to the end here. Garmin, that's a, it's a big company. 
Olathe Tech, Kansas. Actually, I should look into this because one of my students, Gabriel, is a, lives in Olathe Tech. Uh, sorry, Olathe, Kansas, not Texas, um, doing SEO. Or maybe he lives in Overland Park. There's an SEO position there too. Let's see. Again, two weeks ago, 32 applicants, experience in retail, digital marketing, digital marketing, experience with Google Analytics. Yeah, you're in Olathe, Kansas, guys. This is not the hub of like, the. this is not Silicon Valley. You are going to stand out if you apply for there. This was interesting. This is a mid-senior level position. I'm going to ask my, uh, my student if and that's the other great thing when you're in my courses. I, I do try to hook my students up with other students. There's a big network. Uh, two to four years of SEO experience. You know, it's so funny to be a mid-senior level. Posted one week ago, No, you know, not even 25 applicants. And you're going to be mid-senior level with two to four years experience. I would still apply for this. Because remember, two to four years of SEO experience doesn't necessarily mean two to four years of experience. Most of my students have gotten jobs where it says, one, two, or three, or even four years experience required. Linden, Utah, three days ago. Now, in this case, they've had almost no applicants. Build and optimize Google and Bing campaigns for a roster of clients. Strong understanding Google ads. Two plus years experience. Again, these two things indicate <laughs> they're not finding. Literally, and in this case, they don't have any applicants here. Uh, so this is another. Again, these smaller cities are a really great, great place to get a start. That's it. That's that's just an example of some. You know, I only I, I try to keep these videos twenty minutes, but I can literally go through the thousands and thousands of these jobs, and you can see them again and again. And that's how my students keep getting these results. So be inspired, be excited. Remember, guys, this number is just going to keep going up. Uh, at some point, I'm hoping people in the U.S. will actually start wearing face masks, and then the transmission of this illness will go down and businesses can open. <laughs> um, as things continue to improve, uh, this this number of jobs is gonna keep going up. Remember it was all, all the way down at 26,000 like a couple weeks ago, now it's back up to 33,000. It's gonna, it's just gonna keep going up. The opportunities are there. Um, and I, I love sharing it with people. So I hope this has inspired you, given you some great ideas, some great you know examples. And uh, if you're not in the course, you know, make sure you check out the free mini course. Um, you can always message me with any questions. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.